since I've been getting so many questions about uh, interval notation, I'm going to go through a couple of problems. Actually, I'm going to do three problems, um, and I'm going to demonstrate the different possibilities of interval notation um, so that you can see how to do it. The first problem I'm going to do is 4x greater than or equal to 8. And we would solve this by dividing by 4. Cancel the 4's and I'd have x is greater than or equal to 2. Okay. The first thing you want to do is put this on a number line because it's easier to write interval notation from the number line. So I, I create my number line. I'm going to put my 2 on the number line. And then since this says or equal to, that means the 2 is included in the solution set. So that means I'm going to put a bracket at 2. Then it is greater than, so I'm going to go in the positive direction or towards the positive infinity. Notice that your number lines are always set up so that positive infinity is in the right direction and negative infinity is in the left hand direction. Now the interval would be written right off the number line. It starts with 2 because it goes in the order of how it is on the number line. You would have a bracket, the number 2, which says the 2 is included. And then all numbers greater than 2 or to infinity. And infinity signs, whether positive or negative infinity, will always take the, the parentheses. Okay, next example. We're going to do negative 3x greater than or equal to 9. Now we're going to divide by negative 3 to solve, but remember when we divide by a negative number, the inequality sign will flip. So we get x less than or equal to negative 3. Now I'm going to draw the number line. I'm going to put my negative 3 on my number line. The negative 3 is also included in this problem, or equal to, so it also will be a bracket. I'm going to have less than, so this time I'm going to the left. So I'm going to the negative infinity. So now when I go to write my interval, I'm going to have a parentheses, negative infinity. So I'm going in the order of the number line, negative 3, and including negative 3, so a bracket. So this says that all numbers from negative infinity, which is forever in the negative um, direction, all the way up to 3, and then it stops. So less than or equal to negative 3. All right, one more example. This one will be a compound inequality, since some of you are having difficulty with these as well. So we'll solve this. So I have negative 6 less than 4x plus 2 less than or equal to, no, I want to change that to 18, not 16. Make that 18. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is subtract 2. We always do our addition or subtraction first. We're going to do it to all three parts. That's the trick to doing compound inequalities. So I subtract 2 from all three parts. Here I get negative 8. Here the 2's cancel, and I get 4x. And here I get 16. And now I'm going to divide all three parts by 4. I'm looking to isolate the 4 in the middle. I mean, not the 4, the x in the middle. So here I'm going to have negative 2 less than x less than or equal to 4. Okay, so I have the compound inequality solved. I'm going to go to my number line. And I'm going to place a negative 2 and a 4 on my number line. Okay, now this interval 
will be between negative 2 and 4. We are saying that x is greater than negative 2, so greater than, but less than or equal to 4. Okay, so it's all the numbers between negative 2 and 4. We do not include the 2 because it's not or equal to. So we're going to have a parentheses here. And then we're going to have a bracket here because we are including the 4. Okay, so to write my interval, I'm going to have a parentheses. I'm doing this right off the number line. Negative 2, comma 4, including 4. So including means a bracket. And this is the way you would write that interval. I hope this clears up some of the problems you guys have been having with this.